Painting the Golden Spiral by Nadia Daniels Maley. The Fibonacci Sequence. Each number in the sequence consists of the sum of the two numbers preceding it in the sequence. 0 plus 1 equals 1, 1 plus 1 equals 2, 1 plus 2 equals 3, 2 plus 3 equals 5, 3 plus 5 equals 8, and so on. The golden spiral is created by squaring each number in the sequence. The sequence continues infinitely. Gabriel Garcia Marquez was a master of words and a bad speller. In Living to Tell the Tale, the author described confronting his spelling atrocities. When challenged by his headmaster's critique, Garcia Marquez referred to a dictionary passage. The headmaster opened the dictionary to the exact page and responded to teenage Garcia Marquez with a bravo. Like Garcia Marquez, in the film Hidden Figures, Dorothy Vaughn, who helped send the first astronaut into Earth's orbit, rushed to a bookshelf to find a mathematical formula because she knew exactly where to look. Like these thinkers, throughout my education, I've created a roadmap in my head, connecting concepts and books and page numbers. As a child, I learned through observation, and by that observation, crawling morphed into standing and standing into walking. By observing, letters morphed into words, and words into stories. In fact, I did not speak a full word until just past my first birthday, on my mother's 30th birthday, when I pointed to the window and said outside to my astonished family. I've explored the art of language and spelling, French and German, Old English and Latin, Spanish and Portuguese, much of the way I learned to speak, knowing there would always be a dictionary to scour or a conversation to listen to. There would always be somewhere to look. But there was a language I didn't know how to observe. Mathematics. Mathematics exists without humans, something language cannot do. And though I found the language of mathematics in books, I could not fathom how mathematics communicates a planet's orbit, or the expansion of the universe, or machinery, or movement, or particles. Though I admired math from afar, I feared it, caught in the myth of innate potential, that white males possess innate mathematical ability while women and people of color do not. A myth debunked by bright people practicing math today and by teaching strategies like Joe Bowler's, articulating how mathematical ability lies in curiosity and strategy, diligence and collaboration. The fear began to dissipate when I truly observed math for the first time, watching doodling in math class. In the episode on the Fibonacci sequence, Mathematician Via Hart draws on pineapples and pine cones, explaining the structure of the golden spiral and the sequence of growth, which urged my 11-year-old self to stay up late into the night, filling page after page with the sequence, unaware that the comfort I felt from the infinite numbers would spiral into my future. In the present, nearly a decade after the night I spent tangled in the Fibonacci sequence, I paint the golden spiral in a storefront window, and I find myself, once again, lost in the numbers marching to infinity. Infinity, the concept that doesn't just have one answer, mathematician Eugenia Chang said. It doesn't just have one way of thinking about it. In the moments between brushstrokes, I can feel the thrum of uncertainty in the world around me, and I realize that the present and infinity are alike, both subject to many different ways of thinking, both reaching for the unknown both rooted in mathematics. What does culture want? To make infinity comprehensible, said philosopher Umberto Eco. And how, as a human being, does one face infinity? How does one attempt to grasp the incomprehensible? Through lists, through catalogs, through collections and museums, and through encyclopedias and dictionaries. And perhaps, too, then, through mathematical structure. In my life, the Fibonacci sequence never wavered because the structure, the language of math, is consistent. But the way we think about math adapts and changes. Numbers turn into squares and a spiral cuts through them. The notebook pages I scrawled, zero plus one equals one, one plus one equals two, one plus two equals three, morph into a year's worth of words and brushstrokes. Right now, chaos nearly as incomprehensible as infinity is made observable observable in the systemic racism sparking protests across the U.S., 
observable as the climate changes, forcing thousands of firefighters to battle Californian wildfires. Observable as the number of COVID-19 deaths passes a million. Yet all the while, I am reminded that beneath everything is a mathematical structure that shapes mollusk shells and plants, shapes embryos in utero and flies flight patterns shapes the movement of storms and whirlpools, and shapes the tendrils of our galaxy.